Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 28. They shall no longer be a prey for the nations, nor shall beasts of the land devour them. They shall dwell safely, and no one shall make them afraid. One of the things that we all deal with is fear and a sense of helplessness, especially when we are undertaking something that is very big. We may not be lazy, but we can be fearful and intimidated and, and feel overwhelmed by all kinds of enemies that we are dealing with. God is our protector. And as we begin the year, we're faced with uncertainty. Our life has a way of just throwing all kinds of situations your way. Sometimes there'll be people who don't like you and, and will set traps for you and, and will try to destroy you. It's just part of reality. And you don't live your life so much afraid of people who would come against you and enemies so much so that you do nothing. So God is assuring us in the book of Ezekiel uh, as he gave to his children, Israel, that they shouldn't be afraid. And there are four things he says that they would benefit from. The first is that they would not be a prey. You shall not be a prey. A prey is an animal that is hunted by others. You will not be a prey. You will not be hunted. You will not just be on the run for your life, scared because somebody wants to destroy you. You are not weak and unprotected. If you are a child of God and you live in this earth, remember your father owns the universe. You are not just an orphan child walking on this planet alone with no help. Your help is in the Lord. You will not be a prey. Second, you will not be devoured. You shall not be devoured. You are too anointed for the enemy to devour you. You are too big for people to try and destroy you. You are like Daniel. Daniel was in a lion's den, surrounded by wild beasts, but he was too anointed. He was too covered. He was too protected to be devoured. You will not be devoured. And I don't know what enemy and what threat is coming against you, but you will not be devoured. You will not be a prey and you will not be devoured. The Lord is your protector. The Lord is your strength. You can go into the year fully confident you will not be devoured. Number three, he says you shall dwell in safety. And that's what God says to you. You will dwell in safety. In a world full of danger and evil schemes and evil plans, God is your hiding place. He's your shield all round about you. He's your shield and your protector. His eyes are upon you by day and by night. Wherever you go, his presence is there. He covers you under his wings, and so you dwell in safety. You will not be a prey, you will not be devoured, and you will dwell in safety. And the fourth thing he says, because of all of that, you shall not be afraid. I don't know what is threatening you or what you have heard. Uh, maybe you didn't do well last year, or maybe other times you tried doing something and didn't work, but you will not be afraid. You're not going to allow fear to dictate your life, fear to dictate your choices, fear to dictate your responses. God is with you. You will not be afraid. You will not be devoured. You will dwell in safety, and you will not be afraid. As a matter of fact, God says, when the wicked sit and make plans about you, God sits in heaven and laughs at them because he knows he's got you covered, he's got you protected, and he will bring deliverance to you. Let's share a word of prayer together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are my shield and protection. I will not be devoured nor destroyed. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You will not be devoured. I am Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.